situations that I've had in the past with VPN routers is either the router is not designed to be a VPN router, that's if you put DDWRT on it, or the router is such a complicated configuration that it's not really a layman's job to do. A VPN router is very simple and easy to use when you buy this one. Now, this I picked it up from Amazon. It's uh, GL iNet, it's a tiny little thing. They do have a range of routers and I will be reviewing all of them. Uh, Order this from Amazon, it's FBA, um, so it is sent by Amazon. So I got it next day delivery, free with Prime. Two things I recommend you do, links in the description. As you can see, it's a typical box that's super glued with industrial strength. So getting it out of the box is where uh, you need strong fingers. So we've got the instruction booklet. Believe it or not, I read instruction booklets, but not straight away. So we've got a micro USB cable, which can be used in any power adapter. This is for the power. So it can be used in any power adapter. Of course, your main router has probably got a USB port that'll power it. Uh, and here we have, in beautiful yellow, uh, we have our little travel router. Now this is 20 pounds on Amazon. So you've got a router that's 20 pounds. Now the guys at Lamnia will sell you one of these for 20 pounds, plus they'll configure it with one of their subscriptions on. Link in the description below. However, the setup is pretty straightforward. So we go to our Wi-Fi and we are looking to connect to the GL network. That network is on a sticker on the bottom of the box. I do connect by ethernet and once I've connected by ethernet, I go to 192.168.8.1 in a browser window and we arrive in the GL iNet portal. Now this is easy peasy. I mean, it's choose which country you're in, choose your time zone, and then we've got our setup. Now, whoever you use as a VPN provider will send you a configuration file. Now you just drag that from the desktop into this portal. That's your setup done. It's brilliant. Now, I want to be connecting in Amsterdam. I want it always on. So I'm going to put the force VPN on. I'm going to put enable. I'm going to tick those boxes. And then I'm going to connect it. And that is me connected. It's as simple as that. Now, here I'm changing the DNS. I've gone into the settings. I've changed the DNS because sometimes you get an issue. It doesn't necessarily work with the VPN correctly. So I'll change from my local DNS to Google's DNS. And that's what I've done there. Now, basically, Google's DNS is four eights, and their backup is two eights and two fours. So just change that, and then I found it absolutely worked like a dream. There's a link in the description to buy it from Amazon. Now, basically, GLINet don't sell anywhere else apart from on Amazon. Uh, because it is um, sent out by Amazon, they've got it in stock. It's guaranteed next day delivery if you've got an Amazon Prime account which you should have by now. If not, there's a link in the description to an Amazon Prime account. So check out those links. If the video has been useful, do like, subscribe, and share. If you've got any problems with this router, just buzz me. I'm more than, more than happy to help you when you get it, but it's very, very straightforward, very good to use, and I'm very happy with it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.